As the United States prepares for Election Day 2020, there are also preparations for protests, civil unrest and violent chaos, no matter the outcome. We know that there are some people who might want to use peaceful election night protests to promote violence and property destruction. That behavior is not acceptable. Major cities like Chicago have put in months of planning for what has been called a 10-day emergency operational plan to handle any violent election day backlash. We will be watching diligently, and if we need to take more aggressive measures uh, to shut down parts of the city, we are prepared to take those steps. In Washington, D.C., businesses have boarded up their windows and entrances, and a big fence has been built around the White House where Donald Trump will spend the election night. Um, I've got my daughter here, and it's the first time we've ever seen it. What's been going on is terrible. And to have this happen and board it up, and this is the people's house. This is what democracy is. Then what message are we sending to the rest of the world? What am I sending to her? New York has not only boarded up businesses, but swore in their first new class of police officers since budget cuts and the rise of the pandemic. There's a national conversation going on right now about what policing should look like. I would say to you, don't be defensive about it. Embrace it. You are now a part of that history. Despite 900 new recruits, they are at least 1,800 short of their ranks last year. <laughs> Meanwhile, unrest in the city has already begun, with pro-Trump rallies blocking traffic. Combine these scenes with the data showing gun sales at an all-time high, and it's no wonder many countries, including our own, have put up travel warnings for their citizens to steer clear of the USA in the coming weeks. The frequency of the violence has continued to escalate. It tells me that uh, it's only going to get progressively worse until it's, it, it'll descend into open warfare. You're ready to defend yourself with weapons. It's the unrest that's going to come, you know, following the election where we would have to interject.